Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a great YouTube video using Final Cut Pro for iPad. I've used this software since I started my channel over a year ago. I have edited every single video I've ever posted on my iPad. And my videos do pretty well. I get around 20 to 40,000 views a video right now, and I'm earning about 4,000 subs a month, so not too shabby. And if my editing strategy works for me, I'm willing to bet it will work for you as well. And so in this video, I'm gonna give you a full beginner's guide from start to finish on Final Cut Pro for iPad. We're gonna talk about starting a project and adding video. We'll talk about adding your talking head or A-roll video, adding secondary or B-roll video, adding screen recording video, adding titles, drawing on video, and finally exporting the video out of Final Cut Pro. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So I've got Final Cut Pro on my dock and I'm just gonna go ahead and open that. And you can see all of my projects are listed here. And so it's really nice to be able to go back to your projects if you need to edit them or even grab some video that you had in these projects. But I'm just going to go ahead and start a new project. So if you click new project, you can select new project. And then we need to give our project a name. So I'm going to call this Final Cut Pro on iPad. Once you've titled it, you can click continue. And now you have an opportunity to grab some video from various places. So you can actually record with this camera that's on the iPad. You can grab from your Photos app, from the Files app, or you can do live multicam. Now here's the deal. I have filmed on the Final Cut camera app on iPhone, and that's actually what's recording right now. And so you can use that app to beam your video right to Final Cut Pro for iPad. I have another video that talks about this in more detail, and I'm gonna link that at the the end of this video. I'm not going to go into detail on Final Cut Camera here. So I want to select blank project because I am actually going to send my videos from my iPhone to Final Cut Pro right now. Okay, so you can see here I've got my video content in my project now and I'm ready to start editing. And we're actually going to edit the video that you just saw this intro to this video. And so you can tap on any video piece that you want and you can actually grab a clip by using the slider. But when I'm editing my A-roll content, I like to put the whole clip down into the timeline. So I'm actually just going to grab it, press and hold, and drag it down. Now what's great is with the iPad you can pinch and zoom to get more detail and more accuracy so you can get the playhead where you want it to. And the first step that you really need to do when editing your A-roll footage is to get rid of all the dead space and to get rid of all the errors. And so here I press the play button and then I came and sat down in front of the camera. And so I'm just gonna zoom in and I'm gonna move my playhead right to where I want that. And then once you have the playhead where you want it and the clip is selected with yellow bars around it, you can go down here and clip the scissors and it will cut. And so now we have this extra space here that we can get rid of, this video clip we don't want. So I'll tap it, get the yellow bars around it, and then I'll hit the trash can and it's gone. And that, my friends, is the process of editing your A-roll talking head footage. So I've got a lot of blank space here that I need to clean out. I've got some errors here where I might have messed up talking and I need to go through and move my playhead, select the clip, cut. Move the playhead, I'm gonna get rid of that error select the clip, cut it, and then you can select the clip you don't want and trash it. And you'll notice I really like to keep the audio really tight. And so that's really important to keep your video nice and clean and keep it moving. People have short attention spans. You don't want uhs and ums and dead spaces and things like that. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes and clean up the rest of this A-roll footage. I'm gonna just be clipping away. And if you don't have an Apple Pencil, an Apple Pencil is fantastic for precision in editing with Final Cut Pro. But you can also use touch, so you can use your fingers or a combination of touching with your fingers and and the pencil. I absolutely love using Apple Pencil to edit. All right, so I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll talk about B-roll footage. Okay, so now I've got my A-roll footage all cleaned up and I just wanted to point out something that you can turn on a feature here in the settings and the timeline options where you can play audio when you're scrubbing. This is useful as you get better at editing. You can play through your video content really quick. If I have that setting turned on, you can scrub over and hear your video very easily. But if you don't like that, you can actually turn that off and I'm gonna do that for this demonstration. So now I can scrub and there is no audio. You can only hear the audio when you play it. Now let's talk about adding B-roll footage. So I took some B-roll footage and B-roll is what goes over top of your A-roll footage. And so this is great for making your video more interesting or it's 
great for just demonstrating what you're talking about on screen. And so here in my introduction, I'm talking about how I use Final Cut Pro on the iPad, and so it'd be great to show a clip. And so I've got a clip of footage here. And so you can actually select a portion of your clip in the previewer right here. And so I'm just gonna grab a small portion of this and pick it up and drop it in there. Now, once you drop B-roll footage, make sure that you press and hold on it. And I like to hit expand audio components and then select the audio component and disable it because you don't want any white noise or muffled noise in the background while the B-roll footage is playing. Something else I like to do as a tip for B-roll footage is make sure you have some B-roll footage that goes over your talking breaks because there's sometimes an awkward break right there. Well, the B-roll footage lets it look nice and clean and sound good. And then I also like to end B-roll footage when I pick up with a new clip where I'm talking again. That just makes it look nice and clean as well. So once you got your B-roll footage in there, you can adjust it if needed and then when you're happy with it, it's good to go. Now let's talk about a different kind of B-roll footage and that is putting in a screen recording as B-roll. So screen recordings, if you record your screen on your iPad, you can actually pull down right here and there's a record button. If you don't see that, you can add it with the plus button. So I do screen recordings a lot when I'm demonstrating on the iPad and those will drop into your photos app. And so to get that screen recording, I'm gonna hit this down arrow and you can select from photos or files. And I'm gonna select photos. And so let's say I've got a screen recording here that I wanna add in. It will drop it into my project and then I can select a clip of it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it where I start from the home screen and I'm gonna cut off the end of that video and then I'm just gonna drag it in. Let's take a look at this B-roll footage. Notice how that it's not filling the whole screen and you can actually see my video in the back. That doesn't look very clean. So to change that, we can click the inspect button and select these two squares right here and there is a scale to fill button. And so I'm just gonna select that and then you can see it populate the whole screen now and so it's gonna look nice and clean. However, when you do that, you'll notice that it's actually zooming in on the clip a bit. And so if you don't like that zoom in effect, there's another way to solve this problem that I like to use. And it's up here with this star circle button. I'm gonna select that and graphics and generators. And at the bottom, there's just a solid background and I'm gonna select it and drag it in. And you wanna make sure you put your B-roll footage on top of that black background. But now you can see that the black background is filling up that empty space and so that looks nice and clean. And my screen recording footage is not cut off in any way. You get to see the whole iPad screen in the video. Very useful, just make sure you resize things so they're nice and neat and you're good to go. All right, next, let's talk about adding titles. So sometimes you want some text to appear in your video and so you can do that with the circle star button up here and there is an option for titles. And there are a whole bunch of pre-made ones in here. And if you wanna take a look at one, you can actually just press it it will take a second to download it. And so you can drop them in and see how they animate as they play. And so they're all different, but it's pretty cool to check out these pre-made titles and see how they work. And you can actually make changes to this title. So if you select the inspect, you can see the colors here. And so if I scrub over this, you can see there's a blue, yellow, and pink square that builds this whole title. You can change those colors up to match your own style. You can also use this area to change the text of what the title actually says. And so right here, you can click into this headline text and actually type up what you want. Now, let's talk for a second about adding drawings onto photos and videos that are in your project. So I talked about my YouTube channel earlier and I wanted to point out some stats on my video. So I can actually go to Safari and grab myself a screenshot of my channel. And so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to grab a quick screenshot with the pencil here and click the check mark so it goes into my Photos app. And then I'm going to go back to Final Cut Pro and I'm going to use this down arrow and go to Photos and select the photo, the screenshot that I just did. And now that's in my project. So I'm just going to take it and drag it in here and I'm going to resize it so it fills this whole portion of the video. And you'll notice if I use the playhead, it's not filling the whole screen. So I'm going to hit inspect and the two squares and scale to fill and now I'm going to set my playhead at the beginning of where that picture shows up and I'm going to hit the draw button and when you hit the draw button you have the ability to draw on a photo or video and so you've got your tools down here I'm just going to select the red highlighter and I'm just going to highlight some points about my videos. When I'm done, I can just hit done. And now you can see the live drawing there and you can resize it to make sure that it shows up over the whole photo. And you can also hit the inspect button and change how long it takes for the drawing to actually happen. And so I can hit this paintbrush and there is a section called draw on. And right now it's set to two seconds, which is really fast. I might hit five seconds. And after I've changed that, I can kind of test that. 
and make sure that my drawing shows up the way I want it, that it's not coming in too fast or too slow. This is very useful for making callouts and it's something unique to the iPad because you can draw with Apple Pencil. All right, so finally, let's talk about exporting your video once you're all done. So now that I've made my video, I can just hit the back button and I'm on the title screen again and there's this up share button and we're gonna select that. And there are a few different options. You can actually export the project out if you wanna move it to a hard drive, but I'm just gonna select video and you'll want to just go with the default options because it's going to pump it out the way that you recorded it. So if you did 4K, HDR, it's going to keep those settings. And then you just hit export. And depending on the iPad that you have, it's going to take a few minutes to export out your video. And then you're done. And then you can move it to Files or the Photos app and then put it on YouTube from there. Easy peasy. All right, so that's my rundown on Final Cut Pro for iPad. This is just a beginner's tutorial. There is lots more that could be covered or talked about. I didn't talk about adding sound effects or graphics. But editing video is kind of like being an artist. Everybody does it a little bit differently and adds their own flair and style. So start with these tips and then build from there. Let me know if you have questions. Leave a comment below. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.